Yes, this is a bit of a sensationalist title, but there's good reason for it. I think this uh, viral video and whole topic needs to be looked at with a critical eye really quickly because it's gone way out of proportion, and I'm pretty confident from what I've read on this uh, Reddit post about the fraudulent nature of this charity that's behind this whole thing. This video will just briefly go over a few of the reasons why, and if you want to learn more, definitely look at that post. There's people starting to post videos about it now, too, the problems with this. And I first held back from posting anything in favor of this, because when I obviously first saw the uh, original Coney 2012 video, it's definitely really emotionally stirring and makes you want to rally for the cause, but a lot of people just have that sort of emotional response and don't utilize critical thinking and investigative um, abilities to try and look a little deeper into this topic. So the major flaw with this is that it's not a non-profit charity, it's a for-profit charity. So I'll read some numbers here. Uh, the charity, and first of all I just want to say before I get into this is that yes, the guy's still alive, Coney, uh, or I forget his first name now, but he is not a good person. Ideally, he should be locked away. His army should be disbanded. But at this point, the that video was shot largely, and the statistics from twenty uh, two thousand four. And this is twenty twelve. The army is mostly disbanded. It's about one tenth the size of what it was, and it's basically so scattered that it's not a real threat anymore to Uganda. There's definitely problems that it is causing and that should be dealt with in some way, but we really have to look at what's the priority for the world, and if we're talking about interventions from United Nations countries, what's where do we want to be putting our resources? Where, what do we want our uh, resources to be put towards in terms of making the world a better place? In my opinion, it's not a number one priority after you hear some of this stuff. So, yeah, the three college guys that are heading this charity make ninety to hundred or more thousand dollars a year and the charity itself you know for example I think the statistic was last year they made eight million dollars but they only had expenses for uh, okay no sorry it was uh, revenue was fourteen million the expenses were close to nine million just over eight million and then the program expenses seven million Administrative expenses of one million, fundraising expense of two hundred eighty-six thousand. <clears throat> so again, look at that article for all the details. So the, there's basically three things. There's the non, or the fact that it's a for-profit charity, the fact that Joseph Coney is not really a major threat now. Again, he's a bad person. We need to get rid of him or possibly the country where he's residing is to do that. And then lastly, um, this information is largely false. There's a great video you can check out here, which was by uh, sort of the first video I saw that uh, got into it. This guy goes into a lot more detail. Do we really want to be using military intervention to be solving the world's problems? That's what basically the charity is advocating. Um, that's kind of the same mentality of when people went after Osama bin Laden and Saddam Hussein. And we do know that behind that there was largely the uh, pursuit of oil and natural resources. Um, so actually <laughs> I can't imagine if there wasn't some benefit behind this on another level that many world powers would actually get involved in this. But largely, in my opinion, the biggest thing going on here is that people are jumping on this bandwagon, tweeting about it, and making a big uh, deal about it when it really isn't that big a deal. There's bigger issues at hand, world hunger, uh, economic issues. There's enough problems in our countries where we live and reside as it is that we could be focusing on. Definitely developing countries need aid as well. Uh, AIDS epidemic, you know, the list goes on. Where are our priorities? Do we really want to be uh, having one of the most viral things ever on the internet to try and put a bunch of money into this charity which is not a nonprofit charity uh, when 
again, there's much better things to do. So don't hold me accountable for what I'm putting out there. Look at the information that's out there from the link, and also the link in the drop-down menu has the Reddit article. Look into this issue yourself. Don't just mindlessly post videos that are pro it or anti it without doing research yourself. So with anything, critical thinking comes before emotional reactions. All right, take care, guys. See ya.